Well, TGIF, everybody, and um, ketchup and mustard over here this morning. We Did we plan yeah. this? Uh, no, we didn't, no. but we are. We're right bright and shiny. A relish never gets any love. I but, love. I don't mind relish on a hot dog. You know what? Relish in elementary school was good. Not so much now as a middle-aged man. Really? Uh, yeah. Uh, relish is kind of like the uh, standings right now for the Vancouver Canucks. They can't catch a break, it seems, these days, at least on scoreboard watching this week. Well, uh, yeah, so don't worry about it. Go and play. It's been a nice week of rest for them. Boston is up next. But, yeah, if they watch what's going on. You had a couple of Canadian teams, Ottawa Senators, uh, hosting the Winnipeg Jets. Uh, listen, these are games when you look at it, you go, hey, Winnipeg, you're the better team you should win. This time of year, they did exactly that. Well, Jets taking care of business last night as they get a pair of goals from Mark Shifley. And now Winnipeg uh, just one point back of the Canucks in the standings. You got Vegas last night also taking care of business. So now the Canucks dropped to third in the Pacific. And now they have only a two-point cushion in the wild card race with Arizona and Calgary only a couple points back to it's tight the top and the bottom they're pretty close uh Connor McDavid may be showing up for the Edmonton Oilers they've been very good without him uh he was skating yesterday word that he will go on their trip so the Oilers are kind of thinking hey we survived our problem and uh happy where they are right now. pretty impressive considering the the storm that they've had to weather no Zach Cassian Oscar Clefbaum injured as well no franchise player in McDavid and they're only one point out of first place in the Pacific Division uh the Canucks are back at it tomorrow night Rogers Arena against the arch nemesis, the kryptonite, if you will, the Boston Bruins. And you know what? Our poll question on the radio station this morning is, do you want the Olympics to come back to Vancouver? A lot of talk yesterday about it. I'm going to tell you right now, I think our votes, and you can always vote into us, uh, is going to be no. Not right now in this city. I guess it, wa it depends on what sort of nuggets and caveats there are there. Does it provide window for affordable housing? Too many no. other too many other issues. I know it's the tenth anniversary. Everybody's caught up in it. I'm gonna have something with condiments on tonight for supper after just looking. Fury Wilder this weekend, real quick. Who you got? Fury. Fury as well. Have a great weekend, everybody.